Hello everyone, it's Aaron from This Game Sucks. I know this isn't me complaining about a game, but I don't always want to review garbage, okay? Let me have this for my own sanity. I'm still kind of recovering from Beast Quest. Today's video topic is a game you may or may not have heard of. Shadowrun. I remember seeing this in my local game store and picking it up, wondering what could be in store for me. I bought it for the reasonable price of $7, and I brought it home to play it. On the way back, I noticed a small bullet point on the front of the box. Compatible with Windows Vista. It was then that I thought I'd supremely fucked up. A game that was one of the first cross-platform multiplayer experiences? I thought that I'd get face-fucked by some Discord mod with 10 years of PC experience while I was just starting out on Xbox. When I brought it home and popped it in, I was greeted with a nice intro cinematic. It showed a scope cam of some sniper taking on an enemy soldier. Then, what looked like an elf came out of the fray and resurrected the dead man. This immediately piqued my interest. The cinematic perfectly showcased the gameplay elements such as magic, tech upgrades, and the variety of weapons you could use. The tutorial that I played taught me how to use the basic mechanics, and the race selection shows which races have certain buffs. The playable races are human, elf, troll, and dwarf. They each have their own passive abilities. Humans adapt to tech upgrades easier. Elves have passive health regeneration. Trolls can reduce damage the more they take through like hardening skin and stuff, and dwarves drain the magic power of nearby enemies. The usable weapons are the pistol, which you start out with, the SMG, the rifle, the shotgun, the katana, yes, a katana, a sniper rifle, a minigun, and a rocket launcher. I'm not going to go into full detail on it, because honestly, this isn't a game to be avoided like the ones I've previously talked about. I want you guys to go out and get you a copy of this game. On to the gameplay. The game plays like Team Fortress 2, with the main mode being a capture the flag like format. There's also a game mode that's more like a traditional team deathmatch called attrition, but I don't fully understand how it works. Instead of a flag, each team takes turns attempting to capture an artifact which has been placed in the center of the map. The first team to six captures wins. One unique feature of the game is that you can resurrect your dead teammates so they can keep playing. But once the resurrector dies, the resurrected slowly bleeds out. Once you die as a resurrected, you can't come back into the fight until the next round, which adds a nice sense of caution to the game. There are a bunch of different maps to choose from, which never makes the player bored. There's only one problem. The status of the server activity is a mystery. I managed to find a game, but I wasn't patient enough to get enough players in a game to start. The most disappointing part of this whole situation is that the game didn't really have marketing leading up to its release in 2007, but hey, at least it outsold Clarksville. Roughly around 162,000 copies were sold, 150,000 for Xbox 360, and only 12,000 for Windows Vista, making the physical copy of the PC game a rare find at a game store. I happen to own the Xbox 360 version, which is much more common. I know that today's review wasn't me complaining about anything, I wish I had more shitty things to say, I was really trying here, I probably haven't cursed enough, so I don't know, ass shit, fuck, cock, bitch. This, this was a much needed break for my sanity for playing the shitty games that I play all the time. But don't worry, I got some real anal exhaust coming up next time. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, but if you didn't, leave a dislike. I don't really care what you do. I don't control you. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. That's all for today. Katinka.